What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a beginner's guide to key binding. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in. Okay, so first and foremost, you've started a brand new character, right? So I have absolutely no add-ons on, I've turned everything off, you are a brand new player or a brand new keybinder, and you just don't know how to do it optimally. This is something I get all the time, because I in particular move in a way that most people don't seem to move, I keybind in a way that most people don't seem to do, but it is a very efficient way to play, it will make you a better player, and lots of people have been asking me if I can show them exactly how I do it, so that's what this video is for. So it all comes down first and foremost to reaction time right so let me just show you an example so i have lightning bolt and i have it let's say on one right here if i want to click the plane strider and click the lightning bolt um i have to move find some time to bring my mouse down click the lightning bolt wait for it okay and you can see how that's just by default worse right because watch i'm going to do it again i'm running i have to stop Pick my mouse up, click the thing I have to fight, or you could still tab target, right? But let's say, let's say you tab target, okay? So you run up to the thing, you tab target it, you quit moving, and you lightning bolt click, right? And now a lot of people will say, well, McDoubles, I don't click my main abilities, I only click uh, maybe cooldowns, right? Or hearthstone potions or something like that. Of course, it's the same though, it's just really a form of being lazy. And that's because if you click your things, you're going to have a slower reaction time. So really the main reason to keybind is so you can have fast reaction times, which means you will be a better player. So I'm going to give you a real way to keybind, um, exactly how you should do it in World of Warcraft, and it's going to probably make most of you a better player. So here's how you do it. You press escape, you go to keybinds, and assuming that you're playing uh, Shadowlands right, you go down to action bar. So action button one is this first bar, and that is all that we need from this, and then multi-action bar is going to have all of these other bars that you currently see me showing. So bottom left action button one, that's going to be this stuff right here. Uh, bottom right action button stuff, that's going to be right over here. And then these two right action keybinds are going to be these two bars right here. So how do you do it, right? First of all, this is exactly how you should set up your keybinds. One, two, three, four, five for action buttons one through five. Then on six, you're going to do the following. G, Q, W, E, R, S, T. Okay? And now we're going to go to multi-action bar. And at the very top, we're going to do the following. Okay? So watch carefully and do it exactly how I do it. Shift G, Shift F, Shift Z, Shift X, Shift C, Shift V, Shift Q, W, then Shift E, Shift R, Shift S, and Shift T. So now that I pressed OK, you can kind of see what we've got going for us. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then G through T, right? These are the easiest keybinds in the game for people to press. Of course, depending on your hand size, 5 could be more difficult. G is a very difficult one for some people, depending on hand size, right? But for the most part, if you're like a normal adult, right, you can get all of these keybinds um, with the border probably being 5 T G B right? And that's kind of be, basically, you don't want to go farther than that if you could avoid it outside of maybe auto running, pulling up your bags, or, you know, something interface related. But there's more, right? Because you have to use all of these buttons. And for some classes, it's not really just to be an elitist. It's not just because you, you know, you want to, but it's because you literally have to, because you have that many abilities. So if you're a demon hunter, you can stop watching now. <laughs> So anyway, let's go back to keybinds, right? Multi-action bar, scroll down, we have the bottom right. We're going to do the following, F, Z, X, C, V, and now we're going to do the shift for 1 through 5. So shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then what I like to do on the final two is shift, scroll down, and then I like to do control, scroll down as well. And that's because you can use the scroll up versions of them, but I think that personally for me, I just dislike them. Um, and, you know, as a result of that, I tend to do like shift, mouse wheel down just for my mount, right? And then control, mouse wheel down for my flying mount. That's just me. You can do a variety of different things there, but over the last 10 plus years of playing WoW, that's just kind of how I've decided I was going to do it. But we still have the right buttons, okay? And this is where we're going to get into the more difficult action modifiers. And again, a modifier is when you have to hold down another key in order to use um, a, a normal key, right? So you can press Q for one ability, or you can hold down Shift and press Q and do a completely different ability. Hold down Control and do Q, and you have another ability that's completely different. So we're going to move over to the Control version. Now what I like to do is Control 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then we go G, Q, W, E, R, S, T. And then what I like to do for my last one is the last bit of modifiers. I like to go Alt. So I'll do maybe Alt 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, and then maybe we'll do again this idea of G, 
Q W E R S and T. So now we have everything set up, but we're not even done. Go up to movement keys now and simply make sure that your jump is both spacebar and shift spacebar. This means you will never accidentally click shift uh, when you're jumping and just not be able to jump. Another thing you're going to want to do is find a comfortable keybind for auto run. Auto run is going to be the main way you run with a keybinded build that's playing correctly because you don't want to move with W or S. In fact, you want to go up to strafe and make sure strafe left has A, strafe right has D, and this way, when you go A and D, you move left and right, rather than just turning your character like this, which you can already do by holding down your right mouse button. So let's do a little bit of a recap, right? We've set up all of our keybinds to use the most optimal keys on the keyboard on the left side of the keyboard, and as a result of that, we gave up the W and S keybinds for movement. So how do we move? Well, we turn our camera by holding down the right mouse button, and we move straight by holding down the right and left mouse button at the same time, as you can see me doing now. So this is going to be how you move, but sometimes this is a little bit clunky, right? I mean, when you're in combat, it's going to be normal, but maybe you don't want to hold down your mouse buttons the entire time. Maybe you just want to do an auto run. So what I like to do is it's kind of weird, but I do my M and my N for auto run, and I open my map with a mouse button. But again, this can be anything. I think a lot of people would do this little button right here. Uh, you know, it's the one on the left hand side of the one on your key keyboard, um, but you can do almost anything as long as it's not already being used. And then of course you have your auto run, you can click it, you can run all the time, you don't have to worry about holding anything down and it makes playing a heck of a lot easier. So now that you have keybinds like this, you can run up to a mob, right? And instead of having to stop first or anything, you can be a lot more fluid, pick your position right, go for the lightning bolt, and then you know what, immediately start moving again and you're ready to go. And if you want to go for another lightning bolt, you can because you're not dragging the mouse down and clicking things. And when you've already set up all of these different keybinds, guys, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to learn them. Because if you only put certain things on your bars, right, like let's say you customized your keybinds yourself and you went maybe, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then maybe you went like, okay, I'll do like maybe E and R and maybe like T and you know what I mean? Like you avoid W and S because you still want to move with W, A, S, D and you know, maybe you're being a little bit stubborn. Well, if you do that, you're going to be much more prone to clicking abilities, right? Because you're not going to have things set up for you. It's going to seem too difficult. But if you do it like this, it's always there, always in your face. Every time you get an ability, it will be on one of these keybinds, right? And over time, you will learn to do it. Okay, so then what is the proper way to learn? Well, you're going to want to start off with the bottom bar, right? 1 through 5, G, and then Q through T. These are the easiest ones to use. So these are the keybinds that you want to put things like Lightning Bolt on, right? Now, as you get a little bit more confident, you can move to Shift Modifiers, and then from there, Control Modifiers. Now, we go in that order because Shift is simply a bigger key on your keyboard, and it's easier to press. Your pinky is almost consistently resting on it if you're in some kind of typing position, right? And then Control is not that far off. It's just right below Shift. Alt, you have to basically use your thumb, right, to hold it down and then use, you know, a keybind based on that. So it requires you to pick your hand up to some degree. A lot of people just skip using alt entirely. Lucky for you, most classes won't even require it. You should probably be able to fill up everything with simple control, shift, and normal keys. But if you do want to be like a pro uh, keybinder, right, uh, you do want to practice all these different modifiers. But in terms of a basic setup of keybinds, this is going to be what you want to do. I can guarantee you that if you're not already doing something like this, you will become a better player simply by trying. Listen, I'll tell you guys a quick story before I end this video. When I was a kid, 14 years old, I was playing a Retribution Paladin in Wrath of the Lich King, and yeah, obviously, right? And I was clicking. Now, the fact of the matter is, Rat Pally was broken, and so I didn't obviously know that because I'm 14 years old and I think I'm just good at the game. And so what actually happened is, I'm clicking my abilities and I'm still beating people. And I'm beating people that are pretty good and they're keybinding. And so, of course, confirmation bias comes in and it says to me, well, I don't need to keybind because I can still win if I click. Well, it turns out when I finally got less stubborn, did my keybinds like this as a result of a very good PvP player friend that I had when I was a kid, and just stayed with it for a day or two, I actually became a better player absurdly fast. Like, it was weird. And it changed my whole perspective, and it made me less stubborn in general in life. But I digress, right? It made me a better player, and so every time I meet somebody in-game and they tell me they click, I literally will always take the time to teach them how to keybind, because it's just 
worth it. You teach everybody you can because it just makes you a better player. But it's not just key binding, it's key binding in its entirety with all the different modifiers, shift, control, alt, and getting used to all of it so that you can be as efficient as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. A little short one because people wanted to know how I move, how I key bind, how does that stuff work based on all the other videos that I make. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. McDoubles out.